cool, it's so bright. <laughs> I don't even know if I can see. <laughs> I, I'm gonna fall off the cliff, it's so bright. What's going on? I'm off for a night in the Canadian Rockies for some photography, hoping for some epic light, maybe even some stars. We'll see what happens. We're gonna go pick up a rental car now and then head into the hills. I'm in my rental car and so far I haven't driven on the left hand side of the road and so far I didn't get into the car on the wrong side. So I'm winning so far. Uh, let me show you quickly the setup in the car because it's kind of a mobile office. Down here I've got like a little charging station so eventually this will be able to charge my camera or GoPros or whatever I need my phone. My phone is currently plugged into there. It'll like work with Android Auto. So I'll be able to get like maps on there which I won't really need. But I will be able to get music, which is awesome. And I've also got a Wi-Fi device here set up. So I'll have internet the whole time where there's internet in the park. And then I've got a GoPro set up here. I'm gonna get another GoPro set up somewhere else. And I'm ready to hit the mountains. I don't really have a plan. I'm just gonna head straight into the park, into Banff National Park to start. And then I'm gonna look at the map and try to figure out um, if I'm gonna get stars, if the moon's hanging out. I'll figure all that stuff out later. I've not quite made it to the National Park. I just stopped really quickly to kind of let you guys know what's going on because it might look crazy outside. And that's because it is crazy outside. There's like these massive wildfires blowing in from British Columbia, which is the province out to our west. And the past couple days it's been okay and today it's not okay. Today there's so much smoke in the air. It's causing me to cough a lot and it's causing the light to be pretty harsh. It's also really hot today, like 27 degrees, really dry. So I don't think it's gonna get better, but I'm gonna hold out hope. And now I said that I was planning on shooting in Banff National Park, but I think it's less protected in this part from the wildfires than a little bit farther north or maybe even a little farther west. So I think I'm actually gonna drive to Yoho National Park, which is in British Columbia. It's about an hour from here, and I think that's where I'm gonna go. Okay, we're now on the Bow Valley Parkway and the smoke has just gotten worse. It's terrible. And while we might not see the mountains, there's the possibility of seeing wildlife on this road. So I got my big lens out, this is my 70 to 200, and it's all locked and loaded. It's something you should do. If there's ever the chance of wildlife on a road, bust out the long lens and get it ready. And when I say get it ready, like pull it out and do a test shot. Because if I would have just busted this out, set it down there, and then pulled up to like a bear crossing the road, I would have been all sorts of wrong on my settings because it was still set up for like yesterday morning sunrise shoot at the Peace Bridge in the city. It would have been like a 30 second exposure or something like that. And yeah, it would have been all wrong. And by the time I got the settings all adjusted, it might have been like too late. The landscapes aren't gonna move. So you can switch to your wider lens if you want later on. The wildlife, it does move. And speaking of moving, we're going to continue moving down the Bow Valley Parkway, hopefully see some wildlife. If not, we're going to push on to British Columbia and Yoho National Park. I'm in British Columbia now, I just crossed the border and down the valley are some of the most beautiful views in all of Canada. Unfortunately, there's so much smoke 
that you can't see the tops of the mountains. So it's pointless for me to push on. I was gonna shoot Emerald Lake today, but I don't think that, well, no, I know that's definitely not happening. It's just too smoky. Um, the good news is, is it seems like the farther north I go, the more clear it gets. So I'm going on to Plan C. Plan C is to go up to a place called Pato Lake and Bow Lake and photograph there. It's not ideal for sunset, but I think it'll still be cool. And I've never actually photographed Pato Lake or Bow Lake at sunset or stars or anything like that. So it'll be fun to try. It'll be something different. And hopefully this cloud dissipates and I can come back to this area for sunrise tomorrow. Maybe Moraine Lake? We'll see what happens. I made it up the Icefield Parkway and I'm at Bow Lake right now. You might be able to see Crowfoot Glacier behind me as well. And it's definitely less hazy, less smoky here, but it's still a challenge to photograph landscapes. One of the biggest issues with shooting the Rockies, the Alberta side of the Rockies at sunset is you're shooting right into the sunset. The sun's going down back that way. If you look this way, it's nice, beautiful, soft, even light. You look that way and it's really, really harsh. So that's always gonna be a bit of a challenge even if there isn't smoke. But on the positive side of things, I think I just had a revelation. I just looked at an app called the TPE, the Photographer's F and Emerus, and it kind of just shows you like the angle of sunset, sunrise, and like the moonset and moonrise. And I kind of got a bit of an idea from it because I see that just after sunset, the moon's actually rising in that direction and should light up the landscapes because it's almost a full moon. It might kill the stars, it probably will kill the stars, but it might lead for an interesting like opportunity an interesting chance to try something a little bit different some moonlit landscape photography it's something I haven't done a lot of it's something you guys probably haven't seen a lot of and I think it's gonna be a bit of a fun challenge tonight and the direction of the moon should be really cool because we've got Pato Lake which is way up there we've got Bow Lake here we've got Crowfoot Glacier we could even go on to like Moraine Lake there's just lots of opportunities for some cool shots and I think it'll be really fun So that was crazy guys. I came up here to Peter Lake, I'm at the viewpoint and the light just went off. Absolutely beautiful, totally unexpected. And I think actually the wildfires totally helped me out today. I think they really kind of like just held in a lot of the light in the sky back there. Usually this is a terrible location for sunset just cause you're shooting right into the light, but it was just so good today. And I got some really cool images. I actually got so excited about the light. I totally forgot to vlog it. So sorry about that. But we're doing this night photography thing. We're doing the moonlit landscape photography tonight. So we're just waiting for the moon to come out. It should come out that way. And in theory, it should light this whole valley up. This is the Mastaya Valley down this way. It should light up all the peaks. And again, that's kind of all theory. I'm not sure if it's gonna work in practice. I don't know if we'll see stars at the same time or if it'll burn off the stars, but we'll see what happens once the light hits. <music> So 
basically that happened exactly as I thought was gonna happen, as I hoped would happen. The moon is kind of like just lighting up the valley and you can't see it really with your eyes, but your camera definitely can. The moon's kind of being diffused by some like hazy clouds, which is actually making it look really smooth and cool. A bit of a long exposure is getting some wispy clouds. And yeah, some stars are poking through as well. The moon's getting a little bit too bright though. So I got my shots here at Pato Lake. Most of them were shot like f2.8 iso 400 and then for 30 seconds and came out really cool so i think i'm gonna move on maybe shoot crowfoot glacier now and then maybe moraine lake I don't know if you can see me. Apparently vlogging at night is a, a bit of a challenge. Shooting these photos is a challenge too, and the light's kind of gotten bad. I think just the moon's too high, it's a little bit hazy out, and I'm having one of the problems that you kind of have with moonlit landscape photography is that it kind of starts looking like daytime. Shooting moonlit landscape photography is always best when the moon's like close to the horizon. When it gets way up in the sky like this, it just doesn't look fantastic. So I'm gonna photograph one more location. I'm here at Bow Lake. I'm gonna photograph this, maybe Crowfoot Glacier. I can't really film it because it's night, but I'll show you guys the photos. And then I'm gonna drive towards Moraine Lake and I'll check in with you guys once I get to Moraine Lake. Okay, so I made it to Moraine Lake. It's uh, not the right light to shoot this. The moon's just way too high. So instead I'm gonna like maybe just hang out here and maybe even catch an hour sleep. And then tomorrow when the moon sets and the sun rises, I'll shoot it. And hopefully the fog clears up. It's actually getting worse. And I just got a weather advisory from like Southern Alberta that the smoke's coming in. So I don't know if it's gonna get better over the next couple days, but hopefully it does. And hopefully sunrise is cool tomorrow. Today was awesome. I mean, I spent a lot of time today stressing out that I wasn't going to get any photos because of the smoke, and then that sunset at Pato Lake was just unreal, and I know I didn't vlog it, and I'm sorry, but I was just so excited about shooting it that I just got caught up in shooting, which is fun too. And then shooting the moonlit landscapes was really cool as well. It's something different. It's something I don't do a lot. And I think it's a reminder that sometimes you just gotta try things that are different. Even when conditions don't seem perfect, there's something to shoot. There's always something to shoot. I guess advice for today to you photographers or budding photographers is just go take pictures. That's it. It's that simple, guys. Just go out and take pictures, and you never know what's going to happen. It might be a cool day. Um, I, um, yeah, I'm going to go, I'm going to climb in the back there and sleep for an hour. I will see you guys on tomorrow's episode where I'm going to be climbing up the rock pile here at Moraine Lake, shooting sunrise, and hopefully it's another good day. I'll see you there. Peace.